Okay, hi guys. Today um, our focus is going to be on calculating the net force which is acting on an object and then using that value uh, of net force to calculate the acceleration of the object. Recall that a force is defined as a push, pull or a twist and a force is measured in newtons. It is a quantity so we can measure it and it can be, oh, sorry, the unit for that measurement is the newton. Alright, so the first step here is uh, we want to calculate the net force acting on an object. Right, so if we look at our object here in the middle, the arrows indicate the, the size or the measure of the forces, but we've also got some numbers here which are going to help us out. So obviously this arrow which is larger than this one means this, this force on this side is larger, and this arrow here indicates the forces working in this direction. Uh, on this side we've got a smaller arrow, and the arrow which is working the opposite direction means the forces are applied in the opposite direction right, but we also have some values here to make it easy for us so we've got 500 newtons over this side and we've got a force of 1200 newtons on this side which makes sense because the arrows would indicate that this uh, force here is larger now the net force is the, uh, the, the, balance, the I guess what you could say is the difference between these two forces so the difference between 1200 and 500 Right, if these two forces had been the same, so if this for example had been 1200, there would be no difference between the forces and the overall net force would be zero, but that's not the case. We've got a force of 1200 newtons on this side, okay, and it's working in this direction, all right, and we've got 500 newtons of force on the opposite side working in that direction, okay, and so what I need to do is work out the difference between those, so I'm just going to subtract a smaller value from the large value all right and what I end up with then is a value of 700 newtons so this is the net force acting on this car okay, and that's a uh, 700 doesn't it look, looks a bit like a 6 700 newtons so the difference between 1200 newtons in this direction and 500 newtons in this direction okay is uh, 700 newtons so that's basically how we work out our net force it's the uh, the difference between the two opposing forces. Now what we can do next is start to look at acceleration. Now acceleration is, um, is a term that describes a change in speed or a change in direction of an object. So I'm just going to write this out and I apologize for the writing now. Acceleration is a change in speed. Acceleration is given the unit A, or the symbol A. Alright, and the formula, uh, sorry, the unit in which it's measured is meters per second squared. Now you, you will notice that and see that it is quite similar to the speed unit, remember, which is meters per second. This is the symbol, sorry, for speed. Acceleration is a change in speed, so it's quite similar. The difference, I'll just get rid of that now so you don't get it confused. Alright, so to calculate acceleration, we need to know a couple of things. We need to know the, f the net force applied to the object, so acceleration A equals the net force, and we, we can write net force like this, F net, All right, and we divide that by the mass of an object. Now I'm not too sure what the mass of that vehicle would be, so I'm just going to give it a, uh, a random number. Um, I have no idea what the mass of this thing could be, so we're just going to say it is... 1800 newtons sorry 1800 kg all right so that would be a force and we're looking at a mass so 1800 kg is the mass of that car again i don't know how accurate that is but just for the sake of this uh, equation it's not too big a deal if we get it wrong all right um, 1800 kg and we know that our force that we've already calculated is 700 newtons all right so i'm just going to show you where exactly those numbers all came from so here's our 700 newtons so this was the result of working out the net force the difference between these two opposing forces 700 newtons and our mass here I just made it up um, 1800 kgs we could do a search and probably find the actual value for it but we are just going to assume that it has a mass of 1800 kgs right and that's where this number here came from now if we plug those numbers into a calculator which I'm going to do just to be sure. Okay, uh, so we've got 700 divided by 1800 kilograms of the mass. We've got a result of 0 0.38. So that means 
acceleration of this vehicle is going to be 0 0.38 and we're going to make sure we use the correct symbol here, the correct unit meters per second squared, there we go so if this vehicle has a mass of 1800 kgs and if the forces there's a net force on it of 700 newtons it will accelerate at 0 0.83 meters per second squared all right i hope this has helped a few of you i hope you've um, made it easier for you to understand where this uh, acceleration comes from if you have any more questions feel free to, to post them or ask me in class okay thanks guys catch you later